feel like we're definitely due for a just chill hangout type of video where I apply makeup to my face, talk about some new cream beauty launches, and just detox from the outside world. That's what we're gonna do today. I did partner with Amore Pacific for this video, so thank you for supporting my channel, and I'm gonna be talking about some new products from them. I'm in the mood to apply a nice little face of makeup. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I pretty much already washed and toned my face. I'm gonna be applying my essence, which I talked about this in my recent skincare favorites video. This is from Amore Pacific. This is the Vintage Single Extract Essence. One of my favorite essences of the moment. And actually what I did is I transferred it into a little spray bottle. So now I can just spritz my skin down. It's also way more convenient this way. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face. I feel like my skin's been really dry lately. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's stress, I don't know. So I'm gonna be applying this guy right here. It's gonna be perfect for my current state of dry skin. This is the Moisture Plumping Nectar Cream and this has become one of my favorite moisturizers as well. I've been testing this out for about a month now and I really like the texture and consistency of this because it is like super luxurious, lightweight in a sense, but it also is sufficient enough to moisturize my skin. Now in this we have a bamboo nectar, which is a blend of both a king bamboo essence and a king bamboo sap, which I know it sounds fancy and it's because it kind of is fancy. King bamboo sap is something that is harvested in only a 25 day window of the year and it's harvested from a specific village. So it's one of those superstar ingredients you really only find in this. What it does for the skin is it's going to improve and strengthen the skin's moisture barrier. And the King Bamboo Essence is something that's actually native to Korea and it's also extracted in a really unique way. It's actually kind of a fun like educational lesson. It's extracted by these Korean masters who basically heat up the joint and then compress it in a way where they're optimizing the potency of the King Bamboo Essence. So it's actually really cool and it's a very rare ingredient. Now besides using this as part of my skincare routine in the morning and like before makeup because this visibly plumps up my skin and gets it ready to go for nice makeup application. I keep this by my bedside and I apply it right before I go to bed so my skin can you know, it improves the resiliency of your skin and the strength of your skin's moisture barrier. So all of that stuff I wanna do while my skin's sleeping and rejuvenating basically overnight. In case you're curious, this does work really nicely for a lot of other different skin types. I mean, I've always been an advocate for moisturizing the skin. I think even like oily skin people need to have a good moisturizer. Like I said, this is something I have been incorporating into my skincare routine and enjoying. This just launched on Sephora and like I said, it's a brand new product from Amora Pacific, so. I've really been loving that. It makes my skin look just <laughs> so much healthier. So this is a sunscreen that also just launched from Innisfree. This is the Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. I actually just got this in a PR package. This has a broad spectrum SPF 36, and this is a water-based sunscreen. If you <laughs> ever wanna see my beauty unboxings, that's where I do it. Has that like typical Innisfree like scent blended into my skin very quickly. It's basically supposed to be like a super lightweight sunscreens, which are all the rage at the moment. Like I feel like every company is coming up with a lightweight, non-white cast type of sunscreen. And this is also reef friendly. So if you're concerned about the environment, you can use this and not have to worry about that. Oh, I have like a pimple in my eyebrow. There's Buddy. <laughs> So I Toot House just launched this rose wine collection and they sent me their Play Color Eyes palette and also the lipsticks, which I will be applying at the end of the video. As you would expect, like a rose gold kind of pinky type of palette. I have been using this a little bit and this is also something that I've used on my live stream. So I will go ahead and somewhere on screen tell you what colors I'm applying to my lid, but I'm just gonna go ahead and chat while I do this. Now I would say if you're familiar with the Play Color Eyes palette, this is pretty on par with the quality of the shadows. I will say this palette does have one of those like chunky glitter shadows right here, which I don't use those types of shadows, so that's gonna be an untouched shadow. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I needed this palette when I saw it launch. It wasn't something that I felt like was super unique or something that was super eye-catching. I will say though, it seems like a lot of brands, whenever they launch eyeshadow palettes, it's either like 
a neutral brown palette or like a neutral pink palette. And you know, like half the time I'm almost like maybe they're okay with that. Like maybe that is their goal. I've been doing a lot of live stream lately, which I've been enjoying because I can actually talk to you guys, which feels so nice because usually I'm just talking to a camera. I've been applying a lot of the new product launches right as I get them on live stream and just kind of like giving you my initial first impressions. Hot topics on my stream lately besides makeup has been obviously my dog buddy. He has been pretty much like the main focus in my life currently because you know he's a puppy and if you've ever had a puppy, boy, do they require a lot of work and time and effort. I'm curious to know like what your guys' summer plans are. And when I say summer plans, I also mean like any goals you're working on or maybe books you're currently reading or maybe like recipes you're looking to try. Yeah, I've been actually trying to read a lot more. I've gotten a Libby account as well as a Goodreads. So I'm trying to spend more time reading because I definitely feel like when I sit down and read a book, I feel a lot more calm and like more present. So that's always a welcomed feeling. So this is the look that I came up with. I used four shadows out of the palette. And yeah, what do you guys think? I think it actually turned out pretty good, but I don't know, when I look at this palette, I don't see a lot of versatility in looks, unfortunately. So this feels like the same eyeshadow look. I've been creating whenever I use this palette, but like, I'm not mad. I think it's still pretty, but you know. It's a very neutral palette. I'll go ahead and include some swatches so you guys can see what the shadows look like up close in case you're curious about like textures, pigmentation, what the swatches look like, all that kind of good stuff. I'll just go ahead and do B-roll. Looking at me so cold, get over yourself, are you for real? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now where now let me go ahead and do my liner and mascara off camera so I don't mess up my eyeshadow look and then I'll come back and talk about some new foundations that have recently launched. So I've got two new foundations here. I've got the Etude House Double Lasting Cushion and I've also got the Hera Glow Lasting Foundation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hera one but I'll go ahead and talk about the Etude House one really quickly. Like I said, this is the new Double Lasting Cushion. I got the shade N23 and I am pretty sure that this is basically just like their double lasting foundation which they just like revamped and relaunched recently. This is supposed to have like more adherence technology so it has more you know grip to it as you apply it on the skin and it's supposed to be more of like a perfecting cushion. So if you guys want me to do a more thorough review on that definitely let me know. It's actually been a hot minute since I've done like a cushion foundation review. So. That's where this guy comes in. This is the Glow Lasting Foundation. I have the shade 25N1. This actually currently isn't available in the United States. And one thing I do wanna note really quickly is to make sure that your products are always authentic to make sure that they're safe for your skin. And if you're gonna get something like this, make sure to get it directly from Hera in Korea or somewhere where it's a reputable source. And this actually is a pretty good match for me. I'm glad that like Korean brands, some of them are launching foundation shades that are a little bit deeper because, I mean, let's face it, I have a hard time finding my foundation shade a lot of times when it comes to Korean foundations, but this one actually matches my skin really nicely. Now, this is actually like a sheer type of foundation, meaning it does give you some coverage, but it's really meant to give you like a very like healthy glow type of look. I've actually really been enjoying this foundation and I find that like the natural skin look is definitely coming back in where you can see a little bit of the imperfections on your skin. You can still see freckles and texture and you know, what makes your skin skin instead of covering all that up, which I've really been loving. It also has some reflectivity to it. So it's gonna kind of have a little bit of bounce back when it comes to lighting, which also gives you that like healthy glow type of look. I can still see a lot of like the freckles on my skin, which I like. Sometimes I'll even like go back in and like redraw my freckles on because I feel like that's what really gives your skin that perfect look and not overly made up. Now I do set this just a little bit because I have a very expressive face so I don't want the foundation to move on my skin and I just find it's more comfortable to wear. If I set it a little bit, so I'm gonna add a teeny tiny bit of powder. You guys, I had this comment. Someone commented something along the lines of, I really wish you didn't get a chin implant. You look so much better before. 
And I had to laugh because never mind, I haven't had anything done to my face besides like, you know, facials. I've never done like any filler or anything like that, but it made me laugh because I think at the time I had like a giant pimple on my chin and I was like, <laughs> I've had this like zombie pimple that keeps like popping up. I was like, how funny would that be if they thought I'd had a chin implant, but really, <laughs> it was a giant pimple under the skin. I don't know if it was meant to be malicious or if it's just kind of like, I don't know, trying to be a one of those like helpful comments, but I couldn't help but laugh. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some cheek products. I have both of these from Peripera. This is the V shading. I know they launched a new shade recently, but the shade that I'm gonna be using is in almond brown. I've just been kind of like testing these out to see if I like them. I recently picked up like a bunch of shading slash bronzing Korean beauty products and I'm like trying to get like my contour game better. My makeup game. I'm like trying to try some new techniques. I've been like buying new products and trying out different things. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Next I'm gonna use this Pure Beam product. This is new to me. This is in number four. And this is actually very pretty because it's like a shimmery blush product. These have been super popular in Korean beauty at the moment. These like shimmery blush products, whether they're a cream or whether they're powder, pretty much everyone has like a highlighted blushed cheek. Every single Korean beauty brand coming up with products like this, but I mean, it's pretty popular in Western beauty as well. So I'm excited to see it because I get to like try out like, look, <laughs> I get to try out these like very gorgeous, like fun products. And again, I think this is to kind of mimic that like glowy, healthy skin look but I think they're just so pretty. And you can kind of see, it's a bit of like a lilac-y gold, like a multi-dimensional type of glow. And the emphasis is more on the glow than like the pigmented blush itself. It's just kind of like a sheer wash of sheen. Like I haven't seen a ton of like separate highlighting being done. It's like a lot of very blended into the cheek type of look. Now last but not least, I got these two lipsticks that were part of the Rose collection from a Etude House, like I said, that just launched. And I have the shades OR210 and also PK014. So let me go ahead and apply the PK014 first and then we'll wipe it off and I'll swatch the other lipstick. These are both velvet texture. These velvet lipsticks specifically, they're okay for dry lips like mine. I find they do go on a lot nicer if my lips are fairly moisturized because they will emphasize some of the dryness of my lips, but they're not as bad as some other like velvet or matte type of lip products. So this is the first shade, the PK014. Very neon, kind of perfect for summertime. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply on OR210. This shade's definitely a little bit more sheer than the previous color, but it is still that velvet style lipstick. I think I actually prefer this lip color because I don't find myself wearing like a lot of really bright neon pink colors or a lot of neon lipsticks in general. So yeah, this is what that lipstick looks like. All right guys, so this is the finished look, basically applying a lot of new Korean beauty launches to my face. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will place product links down in the description box below in case you wanna check any of them out. Again, thank you to Amore Pacific for partnering with me on this video. With everything going on, I feel so lucky that I'm able to partner with brands that I absolutely love and adore, so thank you so much. And also thank you to everyone for hanging out with me and just talking about new Korean beauty launches what's going on in life and all that kind of good stuff. I was kind of inspired because I've just been enjoying my live stream so much lately. So I also want to do something somewhat similar <laughs> on my YouTube channel. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.